let's speak hypothetically just for a second. Okay. On my lawyer's advice. So let's assume that a, a green dolphin comes in, and let's call it an elderly dolphin. A real old male dolphin comes in. So he's just been captured, you know, via... Just been captured. Just been captured, who knows, a month before... Left. So he was out in the wild his whole life. His whole life. An old man, wise old man. Comes in oh. with a group of about six, seven others, mostly young, really aesthetically pleasing animals. And this one just is not prepared to stomach the life of captivity. And mm. so what do you resort to? You start force feeding them, right? So again, just hypothetics. Dropping a pool, the water's down to nothing. Again, shit ton of dolphins green, so they're not trained. They, they're swimming around like crazy. And you're having to go down there, grab a towel, wrap it around its rostrum, which is the end of their nose there, that face, open it up and start cramming like, frozen fish in there. Oh my. I, I mean, the bottom line is it depends if they're a good candidate for captivity but they learn real fast that okay that's the hand that feeds me like i want to i want to i want to develop this relationship if you will which is a relationship of like abiding by this person's rules right right? and again good-willed animals and the other ones that are just like uh, the same for me they're 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 cutting out and there's nothing you can do i mean you pull blood from them you, you check that blood there's nothing wrong with them this animal's not sick why isn't it eating and then days later why is this animal dead did not want to be in captivity. They just starved themselves to death. I've seen it so many times. Wow. The will to live loss. And you're like, that was always the most frustrating thing for me. You're going oh. to make me fucking cry. There's an ex- this is an exceptional case. We had serious short staffing issues over the years. I mean, I watched that department go like this. Went from you know, experienced staff to like, what's going on here? Like, what are we, what are we down to? And then there was like a mechanical breakdown in uh, the water disinfection units. A big one. Ugh. The water was nasty. Ugh. And instead of dumping the water, instead of addressing the issue over the course of the off season, remember, we closed. You know, we were only in operation for like five months out of the year, and then thereafter, we're closed to the public. Because it's so cold? Because it's so cold. It's so cold. So then we're, so amidst that, you know, the water disinfection unit breaks in, let's say, August or September. We closed in like October. Well, now we're in November, December. January. It's the, we're opening in May. This is bad. And the resolve, just a little history, as far as the, the water disinfection unit goes, we're talking about an ozone machine. Ozone, the way it works, it works in conjunction with chlorine. It, it, it allows for you to use less chlorine to disinfect the water. Ozone's out. Well, how are you going to treat the water? In a, pers- in, a, in a less than rational person, thinking person's mind, you may think it's a good idea to put a shit ton of chlorine in and a lot and repeatedly in really scary doses when employees aren't around overnight, for instance. And this went on and this continued to go on. And that's when I couldn't do it no more. I can't do this. So you knew that these animals are basically being poisoned by all the chlorine yeah, and some, the terrible water. Some serious damage done. Fuck. Lots of serious damage done. 